welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I'm mixing up some paint, so I thought I would just video it. Um, so we can see what's what. And here's Sneakers, because he heard me say hello. And he was very jealous. Oh, sorry, honey. There we go. You just sit here nicely. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm working on a two foot commission today. And she wanted greens and purples. And I see a lot of questions about how to mix your pigments and your paints. So, unfortunately, when you're doing the bloom, they're all different consistencies. So you have to change your pouring medium accordingly. Now, what I'm using today is a mixture of two paints, fluid paints, and pigments. So I'm using um, this little piggy. I love these pigments from Fluid Art Company, fluidart.co. We have a beautiful sea glass. We have a Pinot Gris, which is, you can't really tell, but it's an interference green. Uh, and we have a Mermaid, which is blue, but also in certain lights, it's green. So those are my pigments. Um, I'm going to try to pop in this golden interference violet. Um, this is fluid. I have golden, <coughs> golden, golden fluid turquoise and Atelier Dye of Purple. One second. Sneakers, I was just holding you. Um, let me see what kind of toy I can give them. Now for two paints, I have, and she, so for the silver, I have Artisa Silver. Oh, you know what else, Piggy, I have? Nightfall, the purple. And I'm gonna try this gray purple. This is um, Master's Touch gray purple. So, I'm gonna pause this and deal with sneakers. One second. Okay, I'm holding a bone, and hopefully, <laughs> That will, disturb, that will distract it. So, um, my cell activator is gonna be Amsterdam uh, Payne's Gray. I use the Shelly Art recipe. Check out my code in the description for 15% off for the class, it's awesome. So, my thoughts are, and how I usually start is I, I use this for, here, why don't I do this? <laughs> this is my big messy table. So I have these four ounce cups, now, my recipe is this Bear 8300 Ultra Deep Base. It's very clear, but it's also very thick. So with two paints, it can be a little difficult. And I mix that with this Joe Sonia Gloss. So I try to make everything in the end after mixing about a two to one ratio. So how I do that is I mix it <coughs> about three to one first before I do anything. The reason is, is because when I disperse my pigments, I disperse it in about one part Josonia. So this is what it looks like. So I put about one part Josonia in the cup and I put equal parts of the pigment in there and it becomes kind of like an ink. And this is how you disperse them. You wanna disperse them first so they don't get grainy um, in your paint. So I'll show you. Now I don't measure, <clears throat> but you want about a one-to-one. -one. So here's this and why don't I do mermaid? You wanna be careful with pigments because they're very fine and they fly up everywhere. So this is for me about a one part to this and you slowly mix it in now that would be my pigments now what I do and I'll go to the other things but what I do is because this has been sitting and melted pretty nicely is I take my three to one and I put it in here and this now because we're good at math is a two to one ratio with the bear if you're using a different um, untinted paint base <coughs> excuse me your ratios might be a little different so you're really looking for consistency my consistency is let's see is this a little um, I want it to stand up for about two seconds before sinking. This might be a touch thin because it only stands up for about one second. So if this is too thin, I would just add a bit more of my um, 
pouring medium sorry mo's in the background so you want to make sure that your consistencies are perfect so your bloom works perfectly so let's see how this is so that's looking nice also weather really affects your paints so if it's too cold they can get way too thick if it's too hot out get too thick this is a little too thin for me for my liking still so at this point i'm going to just add a glob of directly my untinted paint base so i'm just taking a glob and i'm going to put it in here like this because this is see how thick this is it's like super thick so I'm gonna add it right in and thicken it up a touch. And then, so you kind of have to be a scientist when you do this. So let's see how that works. See, that's nice, it holds up a lot better. So let's do a um, fluid, let me close this up. So now we have a three to one. Now for the three to one, the fluid should be okay without thinning it out. Let's see. So I'm just gonna pour it right in my cup. And for the fluid, I'll do this <coughs> golden cobalt turquoise. And let's check a couple squeezes. It's very pigmented, so you don't need that much. And I like using these fluids because you don't have to change the consistency of your pouring medium like you do a two paint. So there you go, that's a nice consistency. See how it stands up? Oh, let me mix it a bit more. And it stands up for a couple seconds before falling. So right now I've used the same pouring medium for both. Now for a tube, I suspect I'm gonna have to thin it out with a little more Josonia. So let's see, I'm gonna fill this up and this also, I haven't used this color, but it's opaque. So you wanna be careful because some opaques aren't great and they look kind of like muddy when they dry. So when you're using a tube, I'm just gonna do like two dots. One, two, because it could really seize up your paint. So let's see if we like the consistency of the tube. Mixy, mixy, mixy. It's a pretty color. So it looks thick. So when I'm looking at this, it might be, a, it's a much thicker than my other two. You can kind of tell when it stays up for like three seconds. Now, <clears throat> that's not horrible, but just for argument's sake, I'm gonna add a splash more of Josonia. And that is how we make the fluid pigments and tubes the same. So again, it's a lot of back and forth, but it might be easier <clears throat> to start with one ratio for in a cup, and then when you pour it, you could either thicken it or thin it as you need it. So I hope that helped. Um, I'm gonna mix up the rest of the colors. And if I like the piece I did, I'll post the video. But if not, I hope you uh, enjoyed this little quick session. Have a good day. Okay, so before I do the big one, I thought I would test out the colors first. I'm just going to use um, Color to Go and Tricorn Black. Um, I really like this consistency. It's a little thinner but it seems to work well. So when I pour, I just do maybe about a tablespoon and then I schmooze the edges out. So when I blow on my coaster, nothing gets in the way. So we have a lot of colors to put on this little tile. So I'll start with the golden fluid um, teal. All right, just a little bit. And then I'll do the um, Nightfall, which is the purple pigment. And then I will use the Pinot Gris Interference Green. 
When you're layering your paints, you want to make sure oh, we're falling off the side that you're layering your tubes <coughs> and your um, pigments accordingly. Because if you put too many pigments and not enough tubes with a lot of colors, they'll kind of sink. So here I'm going to put my opaque. I'm just going to put a little bit because I don't know about this color yet, but it should hold up my next layer. Um, now I'll do mermaid. Hmm, I'm not very level here. You want to make sure you're level, but so because I'm going to layer two pigments, I'm going to do half mermaid on this side and then I'll, oops, and I'll do half sea glass on this side. And then we'll have one more two paint. I know it seems like a lot. Now this purple really takes over, so I'm also gonna kind of take it easy with it. All right, and then I have the uh, Golden Interference Violet. Whoop, huh? we're falling right off. Okay, and now finally I will top with the silver. Now, let's just see what happens. Okay. You know what I'll do? I'm going to put it flat so it doesn't keep. Um, so, this is quite a bit of color. You normally wouldn't necessarily put this much color on, but let's see what happens. Get that cell activator down. Okay. Now when you're blowing, you want to gently blow the cell activator across the colors. And we'll wait for this little blob to sink in. It's looking kind of pretty though, I think. Hi Mo, thank you for being so quiet. I'm almost done for my test tile. They're very pretty colors. I'm looking for the thickness of the cell activator looks good. Okay, let's spin and see. She's kind of pretty and shiny. Now I'm tilting the tile a bit to see it could use one more spin. And I think we're good to go with these colors. So I'll do a close up. Let me know what you think. I hope that helped. Um, it's kind of pretty. Thanks for joining. Have a good day.